hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so this video is veda day 14 right and don't mind what i got on because i'm trying to knock these videos out okay so um on the calendar for the 14th it says it is up to you to see the beauty of everyday things so i'm gonna jump right in first and foremost why you think you got to go um, on vacation to enjoy your surroundings? Why you think you got to go to the suburbs? Why you think you got to go here and there and there? Baby, there are trees. The same trees that's in the hood is the same trees that's in the suburbs. That's in the, uh, when you go on vacation, minus like, you know, if you're going to a hot weather, you know, some places have palm trees, some places don't. But you got to take a moment to smell the roses. Like, even if you ain't, even if, it, and, and the reason why I speak from, the hood, the hood, the hood. Because, baby, I live in the hood. I grew up in the hood my whole life. And one day, very soon, in Jesus' name, I claim it. I'm gone. I'm gone, right? And so I'm encouraging myself and you. Stop and smell the roses. Take a moment to look at the trees and enjoy God's beauty. Take a moment and plant a tree, plant a flower, go buy yourself some flowers. Take a drive through the park, walk to the park. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is beauty in everything we do. Look, watch your children play. If you have a lot of kids and they get on your nerves, sit down. You ain't got to have the house spick and span. The president ain't coming over right now. The house ain't got to be spick and span all the time, in which them children should be helping you clean that house. That's neither here nor there. But take a moment and just watch your children play. Bask in the ambiance of their innocence and them playing. Enjoy their laughter. Because I know me personally, my daughter's not in my house and she's at my grandmother's house. I feel like my house is empty. I miss her giggles in the background. I miss poking my head in her room and be like, what you doing? Even though I'm getting on her nerves too now, right? I don't care. I love her and I enjoy every bit of her, good, bad, or indifferent, right? And I encourage everyone to do the same. You know, it's really up to you to find the beauty in everyday things, just like it says. And, you know, if, you know, like, if, if, if you truly feel in your heart that there's no beauty around you, then create a bit of beauty for yourself. Create a bit of aesthetically, take a room in your house and and make it aesthetically pleasing for you. Um, you know, lock yourself in the bathroom and doll yourself up. Stare at yourself for a while. <laughs> and bask in your own ambiance. Tell yourself you're beautiful, right? Um, cook a meal. Make it look pretty. Enjoy the smells as they burn in the pan. Read the ingredients on the back of the box. Baby, stand in the kitchen. Be in the kitchen all day. Let me see what's in. I, I make this cornbread all the time. Let me see what's in this cornbread. It's very simple. You can find beauty in all things. Drive around your city. Look at the architecture. And I don't know, like, sis, you sound real. You're going to take a walk to go to the weed, man. You're going to get on the bus to go get some valley, pick up a bottle of wine, get your wig split, uh, get some lashes. You're going to do it. You're going to go to the fast food restaurant to get something to eat today because you don't feel like cooking because you're depressed or just bored, lazy, excuse me, because I'm speaking from experience, baby, because if I'm if I'm if I'm bored or lazy or tired, I'm not cooking. But that's the problem. We need to find the beauty in those things cook something you like take a trip to the grocery store right and on your way there before you go get your belly before you go pick up your wig at the beauty supply store and all that take a look at all of the beautiful architecture that's around you find a flower make it your mission today to be like you know what i'm gonna find a flower today while i'm walking you know what i'm saying do those things because it is imperative to your mental health if you can't find, I'm going to tell you this too. If you cannot find the beauty in things when you're down here, baby, things are still going to look ugly when they're up here. It's just from a different view. Money does not make things beautiful. They complicate, it complicates things at times. 
find beauty in the simple things and the little things go get you a favorite pen be like you know what i love gel pens i haven't had them since i was in high school let me go see if i can find me some gel pens so i can write my name a million times because that makes me feel good or so i can color i personally love to color i have marker my daughter is an artist period she's an artist and she wants to go to school for to be a um to uh for culinary arts but she is a physical like physically a great artist anything with i mean anything it's 20 times better than i could ever be i'm That's so awesome. grateful for her gift right but i myself still like to color and i don't shun me want like liking to color and i take that time and i sit with her i color i buy markers crayons that makes me happy i also spend time with my daughter find the beauty in little things i like home stuff i know mommy i know you like to read so my thing is if you can't find the beauty in little things where you are now you will not find the beauty in the big things you won't and so with that being said i love you so much virtual hug <laughs> share this message with someone you feel like needs to hear it um you know give it a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.